Hi folks, this is Max from GalaxyNote2Root.com. So I've got an updated overview of the uh, Jedi Master ROM. This one's very similar to Jedi X ROM, which is my favorite. This is also one of my favorites. I like Jedi X a little bit more because you can actually overclock and uh, you get a couple more things. But it's nearly identical. Um, you do get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, about 15 toggles there. And uh, you get uh, multi-view enabled for all apps. And now what's under the hood is very important. This ROM comes with uh, Sony Bravia Engine 2 for the UI. So you'll notice the speed difference and also using a Saber kernel, uh, which doesn't have overclocking yet, uh, but it does make your phone much, much faster. If you want overclocking, go ahead and install Bullet Kernel uh, for your T-Mobile Galaxy Note 2. And uh, this one does not ex uh, support XFAT, XFAT 64 gigabyte SD card. Um, so if, make sure you format 64 gigabyte as uh, FAT32 if you want to use this ROM. Uh, other than that, you get the Wi-Fi calling, kind of like the uh, Jedi X. Uh, again, this is you know Jedi Master, and also you get ROM toolbox um, for you know doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, awesome beats for headphone users, and let me show you ROM toolbox real quick. Um, you can you know tweak the CPU. You can underclock it uh, if you think your phone is running too fast and uh, SD booster. Uh, I don't really mess with those. Uh, you can change the boot animations here very easily. Change the fonts. When you change the fonts, make sure you make a backup ROM. Uh, sometimes, you know, it does end up in a boot loop. That's just, you know, um, reality. But it works. And uh, um, that's pretty much it. And also you get uh, a hotspot working just fine. Tell you more about hotspots. And uh, even with uh, uh, tethering provision removed on this ROM, you might still get uh, get redirected to like sign up for uh, T-Mobile hotspot when you go on desktop browsers. Just get user agent uh, plugin for Firefox or Chrome, and change your user agent to uh, Android, and you should be all good to go. Just standard, any Android will do. Um, that have they have some kind of block on there. Uh, but uh, the latest version is probably really fast, uh, better than the previous versions, and uh, a lot of tweaks here and there. And I, th I think you will like it. Um, so definitely give this ROM a go if um, you need Wi-Fi calling. And uh, you know I think this is one of the best ROMs out there. Also pop-up browser with uh, adjustable uh, window size. Um, and that's pretty much it. But I really like this ROM and the Jedi X ROM. If you're looking for the best ROM that's kind of stable, you know maybe you're new to all of this custom uh, ROMing stuff. You don't want to mess with like CM10 and stuff yet. Definitely, you'll get all the features of stock plus more, a better battery life, performance. This is one of the ROMs um, you can install. Jedi Master, uh, Jedi X, or My ROM is my favorites. Three favorites right now for T-Mobile Galaxy Note 2. One of those you should really like. And uh, I'll have also AOSP ROMs um, coming up soon. But uh, highly recommend it. If you haven't tried this ROM and you need Wi-Fi calling and all this stuff, definitely give this one a go. And I know a lot of you are running this already, so I won't, I won't tell you anymore. Um, just install it and let me know what you think. And uh, uh, if you have a Galaxy Note 2, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxynote2.com. We update you once a week with Ronald Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me down here, subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys later, and uh, have fun flashing ROMs.